What up, y'all? We at the All Ohio High School Hoop Showcase right here in Reynoldsburg, Ohio, where we just watched the barn burning with Columbus Warner Ridge. Came up short with Cleveland Lutheran East, but it was a great game, great atmosphere. We got plenty more games to go. Uh, today, we just want to interview and talk to a couple of the players, a couple of the coaches about what's going on and what this early tournament means for high school teams being able to gauge where they're at today and right now. So come on out and we'll go from there. God bless. What up y'all? We here at the All Ohio High School Hoop Showcase with none, none other than legend Jerry Watson. Jerry, what does this showcase do for a a team at this early of a stage playing in something like this? Well, I think what this showcase does, you get to play against a perennial team in the state, and it shows you where you're at jumping out the gate and some things to tweak as the season goes on. And you get to play against a kid that's gonna play college basketball one day. Wow, okay. So how long have you been doing this, this event specifically? Uh, this one uh, I've brought back for the last 13 years. We did this earlier in the 90s with Kevin Garnett and Ronnie Fields and all them and uh, took a slight break and just felt the urge and the energy said hey let's get this back going you know nothing like something that been good and getting good again. <laughs> Got you so with the energy in the building it's almost like an elite level AAU tournament. What would you say to teams that haven't experienced this event? Why would why should they come? Well, I'll tell you this here. Teams that play in this event, when you conclude the high school season, you'll see them down in the deep mix of the state tournament to try to win titles in different respective divisions. So you heard it here from the man, Jerry Watson with All Ohio. Appreciate it. My guy, Benji B. <laughs> Still at the All Ohio High School Hoop Showcase, I'm here with legendary coach Sat Sellinger of the former Northland High School. The, the, probably the one of the best that they gonna say ever come out of the city. Uh, appreciate Sats, that. Thanks. Yes, sir. What do you say about a tournament or an event like this that you play this early in the stage before your season? How can this help a team? Well, if you plan on winning, mm -hmm. this is the only route to go. Okay. Now, if you plan on finishing in the middle of the pack, then you can take it easy. But you know, you, you need to know where you stand so you know what you have to work on. And and I call playing them cupcakes fool's go. Right. You know right. what I mean? You right. go in there, you all up and you, you're winning and then get your your butt handed to you. Right. And if I get it handed to me, so what? Right, right. At least I know what we're dealing with. You know where you stand. Right. The person that I admire the most is Tom Izzard. Okay. When everybody else is playing cupcakes, he's playing Kansas, North Carolina, mm -hmm. Duke. He knows exactly where his program's at. Okay. You play for him for four years, you're going to go to a Final Four. You're right. It's, it's a given, right? It's a given. So, and how many years have you coached high school? Well, about 31. Okay. And out of, out of those 31, can you tell the difference in your coaching style from your first five? To your last five. Yeah. Before it was about winning. But it wasn't championship winning. Okay. And as I went along, I realized that every day you should practice like you were trying to win it, not practice just to beat the next team. Mm. You gotta practice to, to beat okay. that championship. Yeah. Team. Now the higher up the rung you go, yeah. the, the fewer mistakes you're allowed to make and win. Mm. Makes sense. Coming from a coach that was once the number one team in the country. Also had the number one player in the country. So, you know, with that being said, let's just say a team that comes out now and they, they don't look very good. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it would discourage them planning a, uh, an event like this? It all depends on how they're being handled. Okay. See, if there's dirty water in the tub, coach's job is to throw away the dirty water but keep the baby. Okay. So, okay. You, you know what I mean? You, you, yeah. got, you, gotta, you gotta hold them accountable, but at the same time, you gotta catch them doing what you asked them to do. Okay. One side, it ain't gonna work. Right. I call it the Oreo cookie. You, you, you start with a positive, you tell them what they need to do, and right. then with a positive. Now, I wasn't always there. Yeah, for sure. But I grew there. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean? That's yeah. what experience is. You heard it here first. Legendary coach Sat Selinger. <laughs>